guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to teach you guys how to make a tank top in roblox so what you're going to do is just find a tank top that you want you're going to go to pixlr e go to create new and then just for now you can just name it whatever you want because sometimes if you put specific names they don't always work um so for now just put like um titles that do work so what you're gonna do is go to pixlr e and then yeah press create new and also don't forget that for your um pixels it will all it has to be 585 by 559 pixels for making a shirt so what you're gonna do is go find your tank top for example i found this really cute sunflower you're gonna copy the image and paste it into um yeah paste it into the template and you can just like drag it to make it smaller oh wait i forgot about something um first you have to download the template and just to remind you guys if you don't know how to download the template go to create or manage group items in your store now when it says create a shirt, it will show download it here for the template. You press it and then there, there's the template. Okay, so going back, just copy the image. Just can double, um, right click and press copy image or just command C. Um, then you go back to um, photo editor and paste it command V or um, right click and uh, yeah, just command V. Okay, now I'm going to copy this image of the tank top and put it in here and I'm going to just drag it to make it smaller because I'm gonna have to zoom in and just you can like move it and make it smaller so as you guys can see um, there's a white background here and to get rid of that you press this magic wand it's the wand select and you only press the white background not the tank top just the white background um, so just do that there you go. And also make sure that you um, are also going to want to get rid of these white spots here, like that. You just don't want it to look bad. But yeah, I think you guys get the idea. Or if you don't want to do that, just press the erase button and change the size of your brush, like 30. And then you can just erase the white spots here. Okay, now that this is all done, almost, you can actually just get rid of this white background here. And there we go. And this white, and this white. Okay, now that you're done with that, you're going to um, go to the um, select button, and you're just going to delete the straps like that. And over here. And also, you're going to want to um, delete um, this part, or you can just erase it. Okay, yeah, like this. Just erase the, like, right here, because you're not going to want this in your tank top. It will just, like, look weird and stuff. Okay, so now that you're done, when you're done with this part, you're going to want to just drag this back here, and now you're going to want to select only half of the tank top, not the whole entire tank top. And also, watch what I'm going to do. You're not going to want this part of this um, of the shirt, so just like follow what I'm doing. Like this. And you're just going to want to like select that much of the shirt. And you're going to copy and paste. Okay, now you have this part of the tank top. Here we go. Okay. Move this over. And now move this. There we go. Okay, now just, um, you can just drag it. Also, you can go free transform or you can just do command T, which is also for free transform. So now what you're going to do is just, um, yeah, you're going to want to put this under the L if you want to make like a crop top, which is what I'm going to do. Just do what I'm doing. So just make it like this, and also don't make sure it fits evenly, and it's like right under the L. So just like this. Okay, and um, now you're going to duplicate this. Press duplicate, and then flip horizontal, and now you have this part. If you don't want the flower part of your shirt, that's fine. I'll show you guys how to get rid of it in a second. Okay, so now that you have this, 
you see these pixels they look really bad right now but that's fine we will get into that later so um if you also want to fix like part of this um if you don't like like part of the uh the tank top for where you're gonna put the straps just follow what i'm doing just go back to the um image where you were you can just select it and uh, delete the part you don't want like that and here also okay there we go okay so now the next step what we're going to do is add um, we're also going to put the color for the yellow over here now what we're gonna do is just bring this over or we don't actually have to we can just go to the color picker and then just select the yellow and what you're gonna do is select it from here and make sure it fits evenly um you know okay there we go and now you're just gonna press the fill tool and just do that if this color seems different from uh, to this which it actually does what you can do if you don't um like it is just redo the color picker okay all right Let's try this again and make the color the one that I want. Okay, now we fill it in. It doesn't need to be perfect. Okay, so um, let's see this. Also, guys, um, make sure that it's actually a new layer. Press knit layer and the new layer, and now you can fill it in. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now what you're going to do is I'm actually going to move this a little over this way okay there we go so now we're going to um, fill the same thing here we're gonna just do this duplicate it and um, just put this over here and then we're gonna duplicate it again until it just fits the back also and duplicate like that Perfect. Okay, now that we're done with this part, we're going to now add the strap. So to do this, we're just going to quickly go to the select tool, which is right here, and we're going to just zoom in so you can see more clear, um, clearly, and you're just going to select it and make, the, make it the size that you want, and you're going to uh, press new layer, layer, new layer, and then fill it in with yellow, whatever color you want. And now what we're going to do is just press duplicate. And we're going to move it over on this side, like this. You can also just move this over in wherever you, you know, wherever you want. And now you're just going to duplicate it again. Duplicate and move this, oops, sorry, move this over um, here this up oh my goodness there we go okay we're gonna just oh gosh okay, there. um there and then just keep duplicating it until it fits the upper part of um this so here just like that nice okay and just and now we're gonna do it also over here on the right side. Sorry if I'm kind of being slow, but I'm trying to keep up the pace a little. There we go. Okay, so now that this part is done for it, you're gonna also want to do it over here. And you're only gonna do it on the back, not the left side. Now you're just gonna duplicate again. You're, you, we are doing a lot of duplicating, but this is how you do it. So just drag this over, zoom in, make sure it fits where you need it to be, which I think can be like right here. Yeah, that's good. And then duplicate it again. And um, there. there we go. Actually, hold on. A little more down. There we go. Okay, so now duplicate. We are almost done, guys. Do not worry. Okay, and also on this side. Then duplicate, drag it, this, 
And this is the final piece for the tank top. Now the last step we're going to do is scroll down until you find the image PNG and just press the checkbox. And actually what you can do is now you can you have a better look of to see if it's if this is even or not and if this is the way you want it to be. So what you what you're going to um want to do actually press this again and just make sure that this is even. This is the way it should be. Drag this down and um, maybe move this a little bit more this way. Yeah, that's good. And uh, yeah, you can also drag this a little more to here, like that. Okay, now you're going to do that. All right, there we go. Wait, hold on. Make sure, yeah, just like make sure this is covered. Okay, now we are finished and we're going to save this. Um, make sure you delete the things that you need. And now you're going to just save it. And for now, I'm just going to press download really quick. I will show you the final piece. So you're just going to go here. I will do a separate video if I don't have enough time to show you what the actual tank top looks like. So let's see. We name it Cottage Core Shirt. Scroll down until you find it. Um, it might take a while to like come. Let's go to your downloads. There it is. Cottage Core Shirt 13, and that's this. You're going to press open and press upload. And now your shirt is successfully created. Okay, so now I'm just going to configure it, and like I said in my other videos, just name your title and your description, and then after that, you press save, and then go to sales, turn it on, and, name, and put it on whatever you want. Alright guys, um, I hope this video helped. Um, please give a like and subscribe, and I will show you guys the final piece in the next video. Bye guys!